Kidney stone disease is increasingly common and often complex, requiring more than just episodic treatment. At the Ohio State University Wexner Medical Center, our multidisciplinary kidney stone program was built around the idea that the best outcomes come from collaboration, bringing together urology, nephrology, nutrition, radiology, and other specialties to provide comprehensive patient-centered care. By uniting experts across disciplines, we're able to tackle stone disease from every angle, preventing recurrences, reducing ER visits, and improving lives. We offer a wide range of care, from preventative services where uh, patients who have recurrent kidney stones can do extra studies, such as 24-hour urine collections that act as a blueprint to why they're getting stones. They can then meet with our nephrologist to develop a comprehensive plan to prevent stones. They can also meet with our dietitians to work on uh, dietary changes that might reduce stones. On the surgical side, we offer all aspects of care for kidney stones. We offer shockwave lithotripsy, we offer the latest technologies in ureteroscopy, laser lithotripsy, and suction evacuation, and we also offer a variety of different percutaneous stone procedures. We're capable of treating some of the most complex stone disease in our tertiary facilities, but we also uh, treat patients in an outpatient setting uh, if it's suitable for this. The Ohio State Kidney Stone Program is always using the most state-of-the-art technology to improve our care for kidney stone patients. Some of the ways we're doing this include using um, next generation scopes, which are smaller and should cause less trauma for the patient and increase the likelihood that we can do a procedure without using a stent, which can be a cause of a lot of pain and discomfort for patients. And also using the best available lasers, such as the Moses Homium laser and the Olympus Thulium Fiber laser. The CVAC suction ureteroscope is one of the newest scopes available and it is a great addition to our armamentarium because it increases the immediate stone free rate. So once we make the dust with our state-of-the-art lasers, well, through the CVAC scope, we can suction out the dust so the patient doesn't have to uh, pass the fragments. So it's a great addition to our tools. As a nurse practitioner, I'm able to improve access to kidney stone patients by getting them seen in clinic quickly. I assist in doing this and help to expedite their transition into the clinic by triaging referrals from other specialists to our department, triaging patient calls, both new and existing patient questions and concerns that come into the office. Once we actually get the patient into the clinic, I'm able to see them interpret any tests they may have had, order any tests that they may need, thoroughly review the imaging with them, and then discuss what we can do to help with their situation. I also assist them by providing referrals to other specialists within OSU, such as our nephrology department, who manages kidney stone preventative care, our nutrition department to help with additional dietary counseling to prevent stones, and sometimes our pre-anesthesia team who assists us with pre-operative management of complex kidney stone patients. The kidney stone program at Ohio State is really unique in the fact that we have a close relationship between nephrology, dietitians, and with the urology team. And so we're able to communicate and learn from each other. Uh, and so it's been a really wonderful experience for the patients as well as the providers. Our metabolic stone clinic um, really helps to try to figure out why a patient may be making kidney stones so we can tailorize our uh, recommendations to them and so that's really the best role of metabolic stone clinic is for preventive therapy. One of the key benefits of focusing on prevention rather than just focusing after the kidney stone is there is it does help to prevent acute kidney injury and chronic kidney, kidney disease later. It also helps to reduce healthcare utilization and overall is better for long-term kidney health and um, morbidity and mortality. Within our institution here at Ohio State, we built a program at um, Ohio State University East Hospital uh, that focuses on multidisciplinary and a collaborative care clinic between our nephrologist, our dietitians, and a nurse navigator who helps uh, underserved patients navigate through the various facets of stone disease. 
On a local level, we've also partnered up with our free clinic, the Physician Care Connection. It is a local nonprofit volunteer organization in Columbus that serves the underserved community of Columbus. And we try to get those patients into our comprehensive kidney stone program here at East Hospital. Thirdly, on an international level, we also do some international mission work. Myself, I am involved in uh, mission work in Honduras, where we go there for one week and we offer care to patients there who would uh, really otherwise not have that opportunity of access to care otherwise. We know stone disease is on the rise with 10% of the population being afflicted with kidney stone disease. So we wanna be able to provide those services to those patients. We're also thinking about the next generation. We have a large residency training program and we have a fellowship program in endourology. And it's very important for us to train the next generation to also be able to provide care um, to future patients. Thanks for watching, but now an important disclaimer. The content of this video is not intended to be a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. Viewers should not disregard or delay in obtaining medical advice for any medical condition they may have and should seek the assistance of their healthcare professionals for any such conditions.